Back near the coast, the Sea Haven Youth Crisis Center was awarded a $50,000 grant in October to better serve Horry County. News 13's Sally Walkup was in Little River this morning when Sea Haven unveiled new outreach tools that it bought with that money and the positively Carolina impact it hopes to have on the community. Bank of America announced Sea Haven as a neighborhood champion back in October. Part of that $50,000 went to buying this outreach van, which will help youth immediately with the supplies inside. The executive director for Sea Haven says this was definitely needed in the community. So we're able now to go out and get kids that are on the street, um, on the beach that are in need, in crisis. Also go out and just spread the word about Sea Haven and the programs that we provide here for youth in crisis. The executive director of Sea Haven, Curtis Joe, says the van addresses one of the center's biggest issues. Uh, as we know, sometimes the transportation could be the, the issue that a child won't come here to our crisis center to get their issues uh, addressed. The van allows staff to provide people ages 12 to 24 with immediate support. The van is equipped with two laptops, um, as well as uh, medical supplies, food supplies, um, literature, um, for kids that are on the street or kids that we do approach. Sea Haven was also presented a check by the president of Myrtle Beach Bank of America. So we'd like to present, in addition to the van, the $20,000 grant to help you with your program. Thank you. The check is part of the original grant and goes towards van upkeep and hiring a new driver. Joe says he's thankful for this partnership. The goal is to let people know that we are here, number one, to help, but number two, that we are here and that we continue to need support from our community. And it was so good to have the community come out today um, to witness this beautiful thing. It is so, so fabulous to help Curtis Joe and his team see how to make this happen. The van will be fully supplied and up and running within two weeks. Its target age range is people ages 18 to 24, but it will be used for youth as young as 12 when needed. Reporting in Little River for News 13, I'm Sally Walkup. Thanks for that, Sally. Coming up.